Greetings. In this video, I'm going to cover the steps for customizing the Altspace VR hoodie. You can download this hoodie from the Humai Club website. Just go to humai.club and look under Learning and Resources Altspace VR Tutorials and Downloads. You can also ask Izzy by clicking the AI button at the bottom of your screen. When you download and extract the zip folder, you will find textures. So this is the texture I'm going to use in this tutorial. GLBs. This is the GLB I'm going to export from this tutorial. The Blender file. This is the Blender file that I'm using for this tutorial. And finally, the Helmets MRE code. This code you use in the Helmets MRE in order to wear the hoodie after you've uploaded it as a kit to your Altspace VR account. I have a tutorial covering the steps from beginning to end for getting the objects into Altspace VR so that you can use it with the Helmets MRE if you need to watch that. But mainly you need to change, you need to put your name here and you need to put your artifact ID here after you upload your kit. Um, but all of the transform values are already set so that the hoodie will be wearable on your avatar just like it is on mine. So first of all, in the scene collection, you'll notice that we have provided um, a collection for computer. So right now you're looking at a computer version. The reason why this is a computer version is because when you go into Altspace VR with your desktop computer, your arms are straight to the side versus when you go in with your headset, um, you don't have any arms. You just have hands and then shoulders. There's no arms in VR. So because of that, we are providing a version of the hoodie for the desktop and a version of the hoodie for VR or for the headset. So right now we're on computer. This is with the hood down. There is also a hood up version. So the same thing is true for each of the device options. So for a computer, we've got the hood down and we've got the hood up. For headset, there is a number one and number two version. So for headset one, hood down, you'll notice that the shoulders are completely shaved off. So this is the head down version of that. Here's the hood, the, I meant to say hood, uh, hood down. This is the hood up version with the shoulders completely shaved. This one you'll notice has the shoulders, um, um, a little bit more of the shoulders. And so this is the hood down version. And this is, this is the hood up version. Let's go through the tutorial using a computer version since it has the full sleeves. But everything that we do for the computer version, you do the exact same steps for the headset version. Now let me bring your attention to the materials. So if I select computer hood down, notice the um, three letters in front, CHD, which stands for computer hood down, CHD. Notice if I go to computer hood up, it now prefixes with CHU, so for computer hood up. The same thing is true when we get to headset. We have HS1 HD, so that stands for headset one, hood down. Then we go to this one, headset one, hood up. Headset two, hood down. Headset two, hood up. So basically we're trying to so we're trying to make it easy for you to, at a glance, see which materials you're working with. Um, before you make a change, make sure that you've got the right material selected because let's imagine that even though I've got this one showing, if I select 
one of the other versions, the materials for that version shows, even though um, this is the one that's actually visible. So make sure that you take a look at the prefix for the, uh, the, the hoodie that you're working on and make sure that it match up with the one that you want to be working on. So all of these that are not, all of these that do not say branding are colors. So basically, if we look at this, we see computer hood down sleeve right. So as you can expect, that's going to be the right sleeve. If I rotate around, and we bring up our base color right here, and I can just change it to whatever I want. So let's imagine I want this to be my 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 uh, hue my blue three six a zero e one. So there we go. So now we've got that sleeve blue like that. And imagine that I want. So I'm going to make the uh, the left sleeve also. 36801. So there we go. And you know, you can just move this around also the way you want, but if you have the color value, just type it in. So those are the sleeves. Now, all of these, all of these that do not say branding are all colors. And you can just go through these easily changing colors. The ones that say branding have defined uh, sections of the of the hoodie so we have chess branding so we have chess branding pocket branding back branding so that's the chess if I go into edit mode and select I'm going to select chess let me make sure I got everything deselected so there's the chess you can see that highlighted if I want to move something around, you have to make sure that you go to the object data properties and then select the proper UV map. So in this case, chest branding. Then I'm going to switch over to the UV editor. Make sure I select what's currently on there, which is this one. And now I can scale that up and down. I could move it around if I want it over here. Scale it in some more. Bring it over here. So there we go. Come out of edit mode. It's right there. If I want to do the pocket same thing we have to select pocket and we come over here to our UV map select pocket branding let's select what's we already have that go back into edit mode I'm going to alt A to deselect everything and now let's select the pocket so there you can see that. And if I hit the S, we can scale again. Hit G, we can move it around. So there we go. If I want to put a different texture on these, so here we go. So remember, you select the one that you want to change. If I want to put Izzy on the pocket, I'll just hit this X, hit open, select the texture that, that you want to add. And there we go. There's Izzy. I'll go into the UV editor, select Izzy. Go into edit mode. Now I can make her bigger. Move her up. I 
like that. Boom. All right. Ah. Let's put it right there. <laughs> All right. So now we got Izzy on the pocket. Now let's throw her on the back too. So we got. So right now we got Humai back here on the back. So I'm just going to select back branding. Go back over to our UV map. Make sure I select back branding. Okay, let's go back into edit mode. Remember, we have this selected, so I'm going to hit Alt-A to deselect. Let's hit select on the back, and notice that the whole back back there is uh, selected. And so now, let's go back to the shader editor. Here we go. I'll drop that one. Now, since we've already, now since I've already added Izzy's image, it's already in here, so I'll just grab it. And let's go back to the UV editor. G. I'm going to put it right here since her face is right there. And so notice how it's behind that hood. And so here we go. So now I'll go ahead and go back into object mode. Once again, all of these, I'm not going to go through all of these. There's a lot of them and I don't want to make the video too long. But if you have any questions, just submit a support ticket. But basically all of these are just colors and you know, like you see the name of it. If you want to change the color of the waist, switch back over to our shader editor. Here we go. Let's imagine I want to make this black. So there we go. Now we've got a black waist down here. If you want to make the rope, let's make the rope studs blue. So now we've got the rope studs blue. And so yeah, you can you can just go around and and uh, and and basically just uh, customize this as far as you want. So let's go ahead and bake this. The bake settings are already set. The only thing you have to do is scroll down. I'm going to remove this one um, since we're working on computer hoodie hood computer hood down. So this is the one we're working on. I'm going to make sure it's selected. Click add. That way it's here. Then all you have to do is scroll down and hit bake. Once the blue turns back gray, um, the first thing you'll do is hide the one that you were working on. Go to import FBX. And then you'll have the file right there just select it it'll come in baked take a look around make sure everything looks great and so now I'll just export this as a GLTF I'm going to put this I'll put this inside of GLBs and I'm going to name this computer Hood down um, tutorial hoodie. Make sure limit to selected objects is selected and export. And so now here you have that hoodie right here. Now there's one more thing you're going to have to do when you get it inside of Unity. If you need help getting the hoodie into Unity, you can watch one of my previous videos on, on uploading objects into Altspace VR. So the hoodie, as you can see, it is transparent on the inside. And that's because of um, a technique for optimization. So there is only a texture 
on the outside. There's nothing on the inside. So what we're going to do is go under materials and then we're going to under render face we select both and you will see that it's now rendering on both sides. So basically you just have to go under materials, select the material and then under render face change it to both from front to both and that's it that's all you have to do so that's all for this tutorial if you are watching this on youtube and have not downloaded the files yet you can do so from the human club website and if you have any questions related to this tutorial or the files that you download go over to help and support and su submit a ticket it's free and we're always happy to help in any way we can.